Almost everybody has one of these in their home for cleaning the barbecue grill or maybe keeping all of the rust off the garden tools, but when it starts looking like this, you may want to go buy you another one. You'd think so, Danny, but actually when a wire brush gets all deformed like this, you can save it by cutting off the damaged end. The reason that the brush turns out like this is most people use it in a forward motion and, and these bristles get all bent over, but the rest of the brush, you notice, is actually in pretty good shape. So all you need to do is put it into a vise and clamp it really securely and then use a hacksaw to cut off the damaged end. Now, Joe, this is wood. Why would you use a hacksaw? Well, the reason I like using a hacksaw is that these metal bristles go down into the wood and you don't want to damage the blade of a, of a good wood saw. Makes so sense. I just use a hacksaw here. cuts nice cleanly right through that. Now you notice that the end is kind of rough and squared, but you can just round that over with a belt sand. That's great. You could cut that off several times and really get some life out of the wire brush here. As you mentioned earlier, wire brushes are great for cleaning barbecue grills. What I have here is a brush that has a paint scraper blade attached to it. And I've taken a round file and cut two semicircular grooves in it so that after you're through cooking, you use it to scrape the grease right off the bars of the grill. Now, if you're going to use a wire brush for cleaning your charcoal grill, then you may need to get a second one so that you're not using a greasy brush on all of your garden tools.